Cutler holds that off, but now they need to get back in because they're running out of time here. And now that Opress is going to come in, Stewie finding one, finds a second. So far, evenly traded, but now takes the advantage. And only Cutler left alive. He's going to miss that shot. Cutler gets the touchdown grenade, but Skadoodle, is he going to go for the knife? He actually gets spotted. Cutler finds the kill, but it doesn't matter because time is out. Hugo hiding out. Does he have a flash to use? He won't worry about it. He'll just stay on the M4. And they won't even check it. He gets one, two, three, four, five. That's the ace from Hiko. As we most assume we'll see here with Cole at this point. Nice holding back now. Good trigger discipline. As he spotted the fourth player. In the meantime, though, Davey finds that first kill. Taco does respond with his own pickup, but now Cole strikes, just tapping so casually. And there's three kills just like that. Shroud, what have you got for us? You've got to come huge playing with this smoke. He's going to find one. He's got to do more, and he does. Finds that second kill. There's Skadoodle on the rotation. The defense holds strong. Shroud with the third. With that Deagle, we saw him working for something over at B. Uber, what? <laughs> Dropping the hammer right there with the jump scout. We take in full effect right now. Molotov into the window. Pressure from tunnels now onto main line. And oh! oh! They're going in for the knife. He gets a two for one, but then he dies by the fire. <laughs> but look at her. And this is just him. MP9 pushing up, going farming. Finds a one. Almost a screw up there. And I think that Molly actually missed, but it's going to first four. First four for into the dual zone now as he moves his way out. Picks up two kills already. Shutting down Skadoodle. Two more left alive, and they've essentially already shut this round down. The guys from C9 just try to smoke themselves off, but even that's not working. Fur going off. Slummy's gonna be able to take down his teammate, so it will. Fur grabs the ace. Nothing to answer back onto Tarek and CLG with the man advantage, but look at the clock. There's only seven seconds. JDM hits a nice shot. Bomb has, I don't know if it's been started to no. plant. They've oh, just got to survive, move. but here comes Haze from behind. Lucas, this could catch him off guard. I doubt he clears this whatsoever, and it could be, it is just gonna be a free kill. Games that's onto a liege. Three on two, Ooh. flash over, Kusta through triple box. Don't, don't forget that Kusta's actual name is Kenny S. It's a slaughter, it's gonna be a 15 to zero half for Luminosity. This is where Cloud9 during halftime, what do you say about it? You just say, guys, let's, let's not, let's get a round. Let's get one. Although Shroud, oh. what the heck? Picks up two kills, he's on three himself. Jiggle a little bit, oh no, watch out, don't burn yourself, Shroud. Rounds here for Luminosity too, is they're gonna bring the auto sniper into play in addition to those two ops, and there's Cold. And a Showtime's the only one left. He is going to be able to get an opportunity to drop the Bomb Planter. And now, very little time left on that clock. He should be able to grab the second kill, and he's going to be able to do it. And now, only nine seconds left here, and it's going to be a race from Peter. He has to run up and try to get this on the floor. It's in the safe plant spot, so he knows he's actually just going to move out and try to hunt that kill. But Showtime's smarter than that. He's run away, and this round is going to be essentially tossed by the wayside. Tempo Storm will take it by the timer. He answers back with his frag of his own, but Cutler is right there to trade. And now Shroud in a 1v2, he gets another kill. It would be cool if they if they would just decided to to buy up because this is one of uh, Henry's big triggers. But that's a nice shot from Shroud, a second jumping shot, and a third. Shroud comes up big. Teams never like shown that they can actually stay at the top of the North American scene. Uh, you know, all right, there you go, Jordan. A little flashbang dance. Hey, he's gonna take the big duel out in the open, but that could be risky. And Slemmy with the pistol out, shutting it down. He's still gonna race up to the bomb site, but he's gonna take control, and that's C9. Taking the lead in OT. <laughs> <laughs> this crowd is just, you can tell they wanted to cheer. And now they just fall right into a meet the beast with. They know the defense has been so incredibly weakened. That flashbang is not as effective as Haste would have liked. And there's Stewie. Two kills for him. He gets the third. What a spin. JDM, oh, this could be dangerous. He's not aware that someone basically just rushed on. I mean, that's Stewie. Doesn't even care, though. He's just going to push himself through this now, moving up to the window. They have no clue that someone is this far pushed up. They've spotted it now back by the window, but Stewie is going to remain calm for the time being, pushing back in. Catches Herrick on the off angle, and another one! Stewie's going off five kills in the past two rounds alone as he pushes in full sight control. I don't even think CLG can retake this. No, they're calling it off. They're going to fall back. For whatever reason, but I think the fact that Liquid didn't have an answer for so long was just quite alarming, and the fact that they won it on Eco is even more alarming. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like. Uh, I like that. Right. You need to. They need to learn at times how to play off of each other more and not go just for uh, individual aggressive plays. Is, yeah, there, is there a lack of faith? All right. All right. Well, congratulations again, Jordan. We need to do our traditional handshake. All right. I messed it up. I messed right, it up. Wait, wait. Yes. So you messed it up. <laughs> Either way, it's gonna be a gif. I don't know. And it all comes down to Shroud at this point. But Fugly's moving into assist. However, Shroud's finding another kill. And Shroud finds the final one as well. Shuts down JDM. Look at the aggressive positioning from nothing. We saw quite a bit of this in the last map, too. He's gonna be tested early, though. And fires off early. Finds the first kill. And transfers the Sprite. Got the second one in the turret. Now switching out to an AK. Lower B again? Yeah, I have no idea. Wow, they just keep running oh. that pincer attack. And a Dren two for one there as they try to come out of middle. Uh, their spotty performances. Hopefully that ends at this tournament.
Oh, Lee is going to pop flash him through this smoke. He takes relics off the back of the platform, and both players blind here in that exchange. One's coming through the door. Wow. Elise will take him down as well. He's gooshed up Mitch, who's in the window. He'll switch out to the USP. Cool kids don't reload. And still in the window, Mitch trying for it, and Elise takes him down. So oh, he's just doing this all bang. by himself. Who needs teammates? This is NACS. Look at Elise. On for the ace right now. You can hear the chant starting to come out. He's not checking his six. Oh! He does get it! And it's gonna come down to timing. Hiko actually finds the first kill and feels like he knows what's going oh on. Actually, gets the second one as well. And here it is, the only caveat that they have for that strategy, and that's the oh fake get go enter. Is it going to be the, the classic Whoa. win? Close it out on an Eco Eco with the 3K. Make it four with the 5-7. We're struggling to pick win pistols, and therefore struggling to win games. And oh. <laughs> the invisible man has made the crowd erupt. He is indeed nothing. He is indeed. <laughs> there he is. Jordan Gilbert himself. Oh, but he's still going to be safe. Gambi again being challenged. He's going to grab. That's a 4K on the round for Gambi. The second kill of the round now into another one versus one here on the B site. We've seen so many. And you can see Relic's ready. Actually has the knife trying to bait out the peaks. And that, he sees the bullets. He knows now Gambi's not on the bomb. He's going to fall back. He's literally playing this 1v1 with only a knife. And it, it works. Well, I don't think he <laughs> had any other options. That's badass. But CLG, they're pushing forward. They can find something here. It's going to be Cutler that rounds out. He finds two kills back to back, but he gets caught trying to trade out a gun. Fugly finding another one. Jason R trades it back. And now it's Summit in the 1v1 to try and close this out against Fugly. Fugly playing it aggressively. No, but Summit's going to clutch it and slice. We'll close out map number one, 16 to 11. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Okay, then. No! <laughs> what happened? Oh, no! Summit! No! Oh, that is uh, heartbreaking. Oh, my well. goodness. And smokes and flashbangs, they get the basics, but you know, Molotovs and whatnot to counter out a lot of this. Oh, and, no. Oh, no. Oh! Barely gets outside of that Molotov. How but many more crazy things can we see with Molotovs this weekend? CT, he's gonna come away with two kills. He brings out Fallen and FNX. Cold Zera finally on the delayed trade out and finds two of his own. So staying three oh. on three and a ridiculous third shot. Cold Zera, who already has three kills in the round, is moving into the second two players. Actually gets the first one and he has four kills on for the ace and Kustis puts it up on him. This is a shot that he can't miss. It's one that he set up for, but no, Cold gets the ace. All five kills. Much like Cobble, two impact kills the shotgun, but Skadoodle is still alive. The Skadoodle does have to watch out as Two players are working their way in, but he's able to hold that off as well. Picking up one more. Didn't spot the second as of yet, and N1, nicely done. Peeks back out. Now Skadoodle's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Essentially, he's going to peek out, but he's got to watch his flank. There's the first shot. Now check behind you, and no, he escapes. He's in the safe flank position now, and he can just walk away. Is this going to be the ace from Skadoodle waiting for the last shot? And he's going to do it! Skadoodle with a huge clutch grabs the ace! Stewie now going to take the angle back over here behind the car once again. Doesn't spot that. Oh, what? what? How many times have we seen this get destroyed by C9? Stewie already with two, trying a third. Slummy coming into the picture as well. He's gonna pick one up, and Stewie with a 4K. Nothing can be gained by the Brazilian. Stewie striking first, doesn't realize he's one on the point, however, and Henny gets the double to end it. And Henny in a one on three. The bomb is being planted, but he's being pushed upon so swiftly. Does good damage. He's gotta find this kill, and he's got it. Now playing at an angle where he can isolate some of these players. Stewie's gonna be the next one up. He's down very low. Henny, he does it! The magic comes out, a one on three for Hedy in overtime. For CT to cover that angle. However, nothing, he's burning, nothing, move, no, nothing goes down. Fit, the smokes are going to come out. He'll throw a Molotov to maybe slow them down. No, he goes back to the Ooh. scout, jumping, and he'll take Elise out with that headshot. He's lined up here with the Eagle, and he will spot him. That's a 1D from Taco. Luminosity continuing to get aggressive, and they're on the bomb, but Adren might just peek out for the double spray down. <gasps> Do they have the time? He got the kill. He got, or he got cold off the bomb, and yeah, they run out of time. So creeping his way through the underpass. Not even sure if they noticed that as well. But Lucas with this eagle, nicely done on that first shot. He even connects some damage into the second, but he's going to walk into this spray. But there comes Belt on that flank. That's happening a little bit further back here too. They start to retreat away, but there's a first kill coming up from Showtime, dropping down for in order to eliminate him. More of them try to push their way back in, but there's another jump shot and another one from Showtime. Another is outside of ticket, so it's going to be a long rotation if they don't start moving now. The take will start, but there's Showtime picking up the first kill. Shuts down Taco, renegotiating his position now, getting it back over here towards the, getting it back over here towards Cap, but he's going to find a second pickup as well. And then Lucas comes in, he's going to find another frag, shutting out Fallen. Showtime now up to his third. 
Fallen picks up the slack with that AWP. It's on now. Fur is very, very low. Fallen's got to do some work. Phelps has good positioning over towards drop. He lands that shot to the box. Doesn't get the kill. Taps the bomb. That forces out Phelps. Fallen is a beast. He's got to force a one-on-one -on -one out of somebody here. Not even bothered by the fake flash. He does creep up on the side. He gets that one. One more to deal with in the open. Showtime does it. A little bit of damage. Fallen with the op. He has an angle. He's got to peek out. He's got to find one. There goes Lucas. He's going to be ready for the, the, other, the response push. Oh my lord. Shortened a bit here as he works his way back inside a drop, but he misses that shot. Fallen shuts it down. It's on showtime, but it's not going to work out. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Luminosity Gaming are the champions. The DreamHack Sally Open here from Austin. Now they are lifting up the trophy. Congratulations once again. And they're doing it together, too. There we go. There is some American spirit.